Hey, what's up, you guys? Jason Wheeler here with JasonWheeler.biz, uh, Bay Area mortgage broker, best rates, best service in the Northern California Bay Area when it comes to getting a home loan. Uh, the main reason for this video, the reason why I'm making this quick training, is I want to educate the, you as the consumer a little bit on how to gauge different, different interest rate trends and how you could look at the different rate trends that are happening in real time and educate yourself as to when the best time to lock in a rate it might be uh, rather than just I mean there's a lot of information out there it's really difficult to tell who's telling you the truth and 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 what's real so I'm gonna show you a way that you could really look at the marketplace and find out exactly how you know you know which direction interest rates are going the other thing that I want to do is I want to show you how I stack up against my main competition and as a low, as I always guarantee to be the low price leader when it comes to any given interest rate uh, I, I could beat any loan apples to apples I'm full on confident of that and what I want to do is show you that in real time so let's just go ahead and dive right in um, take a look here and see how you could go ahead and look at interest rate trends as a consumer. So a really good place to do this for free is Yahoo Finance. So let's go ahead and go to Yahoo Finance. And as mortgage professionals, one of the things that we look at is the 10-year bond. Okay. So and you can look at this for free at Yahoo Finance. And what you want to do, uh, let's take a look at a six-month chart. And if you've never looked at these charts, they're really not that difficult to read. So let's take a look here. When you get to when you get to this page, six months, as you can see, we're at six months. And what you want to do is go to technical indicators and put on a simple moving average. Do it for 30 days. That's kind of the standard. And click draw. That's going to give you this red line. It's a simple moving average of the price of this bond. And these other candle patterns, these other vertical lines, uh, these are daily prices on this bond that mortgage tr mortgage rates tend to follow it's not a perfect science but they tend to follow the trends on this bond and this is what we look at in the industry so as you can see they do change on a regular daily basis just kinda like the stock market sometimes we have uh, rate changes three four four times a day but what I want to show you is how you can kinda gauge the market and see in general which direction rates are going and it's really important, especially if you're in process with a loan, that you don't count 110% on your loan officer or banker to tell you exactly when to lock your rate in. They are busy, and, and it's we can't always keep an eye on everybody's loan in real time. But what you want to do is you want to keep yourself educated, especially in your, if you're in the process. And this is how you could do it by looking at the 10-year note. As you can see here, in general, if these candle patterns are underneath this simple moving average line, this smooth line, this would be considered in the marketplace a downtrend. Okay? Now, as you can see here, the, it starts to move up a little bit, and once it actually it gets a little bit of resistance right here, once it actually breaks through, as you can see, we're here in an uptrend. So, in general, if you are uh, if these bars are above the simple moving average for 30 days, you're looking at an uptrend, and if they're below, you're looking at a general downtrend. Now, as you can see here, in just the last few weeks we're getting up and down, up and down on a regular basis, and then that causes the simple moving average to flatten out. So as you can see in the past couple of weeks since about September, past month or so, two, excuse me, uh, we've been in a relatively flat market. Okay, So if you look at this is considered a flat market, although it still does change daily, it's not huge increments and this is what we consider a flat market. As of right now we're still underneath the simple moving average so it's in general a great time to lock. Rates are super super low and although it's impossible to tell exactly what they're going to do tomorrow, I would tell somebody that right now is a great time to lock when it comes to getting a loan. So if you believe the hype that it's it's absolutely uh, a great time and, and all-time lows right now, let's just look at the last five years. As you can see, it's not hype. Uh, we are at all-time historic lows when it comes to interest rates. Uh, it, it looks like the lowest low was here in July, but this is five years. I mean, we haven't been at this level ever. If you look here, this is this the max takes you all the way back to 1962, and we are just lower than we've ever been on the 30-year fixed mortgage and mortgage rates in general. So what that means is that money is really cheap. It's not necessarily easy to get a loan for everybody right now, but money is very cheap. Houses are, are in real estate is is all-time low price historically, and now is just a great time to jump into the marketplace. So what you want to do is you want to educate yourself you want to talk to a professional in general and what the other thing that I want to show you I hope that this little training on how to read these charts has been a little bit helpful for you if, if you're not used to reading these charts uh, the other thing that I want to show you 
was how I stack up against my competition. So most people when they're doing the research, they go to Google these days and let's just look at uh, today's mortgage rates. Let's look at today's mortgage rates, okay? Uh, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna click on any of these ads. The ones in the pink are ads and they pay to be on the top of Google. Lending Tree's infamous for grabbing your contact information and selling it to 15, 20 different mortgage people. And you're going to get a ton of, a huge slew of phone calls, and that's just not a good way to go about doing it. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to waste your time. So the first organic search, or the organic side, is probably my biggest competition. Wells Fargo Mortgage, a huge bank, huge one of the, probably one of the biggest in the world. And as of today, if we click on them, this is what they're offering today. On the 30-year fixed, you're looking at 3.375% on a 30-year fixed loan. Just a, a good rate. Uh, what you also want to take into account is the APR. Now, the APR is essentially what they do to, to tell you the cost loan. If the APR is higher than the interest rate, then that loan is going to cost you some money. It's gonna You're going to have to pay some closing costs, maybe some points. It's difficult to say just with the APR, APR but in general, if, if the APR figure is higher than the interest rate quoted, you're going to pay for that loan. It's not a free loan. It's not a no-cost loan. Uh, so that's just as a good rule of thumb. So today... Looks like Wells Fargo is advertising their 3.375 rate. Although there's other rates available, that's the one they're advertising. Let's see how I stack up against them. I'm going to shop 60 different lenders in real time. Let's do a standard loan scenario, so 417 loan amount. And we'll do, um, let's say, a standard loan amount with 20% down payment. There's other ways to do it. You could also do, you, you could get loans right now for as low as 3.5% down. So you don't have to come in with 20%, with but I'm trying to match up my scenario with what I know Wells Fargo is quoting right now. Uh, let's say that uh, income's good. We'll lock it for 30 days. It's a 30 year fixed, conforming loan, single family residence, and you're going to occupy it on a purchase. And let's just do this in my hometown 94523. We'll select all 60 investors and see what they say here. So right now I'm shopping over 60 different investors. Some of the banks are big banks that you've probably heard of. Some of them are small wholesale lenders that you've probably never heard of. But the fact is I could offer you options that, that bankers cannot offer you. So look at this. That's a, So the best I have to offer, as you can see, I have all these banks that I could shop, okay, as an example. But on this particular scenario, I'm a quarter of a percent lower than Wells Fargo uh, in real time. And it looks like the we've given a small credit towards closing. So the APR, I don't have it right here published, but the APR may be just a little bit higher than the 3.125. Either way, this is a cheaper loan than what my competition is advertising. Uh, let's for Just to be fair, let's do apples to apples. So they're advertising 3.375. We'll do 3.375 as well. Shop all of our investors. And again, we do uh, government loans, FHA loans, private money loans, portfolio loans. I, ha I run the gambit when it comes to if, if there is something out there, if there's a program out there that they're, that, that's offered, I can get it for you. So again, the best I could do at 3.375, we're offering a credit towards closing of $6,255. That's an, a virtual no-cost loan, uh, pay for all your closing costs and then some uh, on almost any scenario. So as you can see, what I want to do is to show you this is that number one, I have options for you. I could show, I could, I could quote several different lenders very quickly for you go over several different loan scenarios with you very very quickly and I could show you exactly the the figures that I'm getting in real time and I just showed you also in real time that that I do beat out my competition on a regular basis and again my main competition is probably one of the biggest banks out there Wells Fargo I beat them hands down on a regular basis so I hope you enjoyed this quick training uh, I really hope that you got a little bit uh, a few nuggets out of it, a little bit of information, some education, and I hope it was worth it to you. Um, you definitely want to stay educated. If you're in the if you're in the marketplace, you do want to look at rates on a regular basis. So take advantage of that 10-year bond that I showed you. And if you ever have any questions, get your questions answered. I mean, you can absolutely call me anytime. And if I'm not your guy, that's that's cool with me. Just go ahead and talk to somebody. Talk to somebody you trust. Uh, get a referral from a loan uh, from a from a real estate agent in your area. Get a referral from maybe uh, somebody that you know that just bought a house. You definitely want to get your questions answered. Don't go it alone. Don't try and do the whole thing on your own. You do want to interview a few people and find get get your questions answered if you want to do this. And it's definitely a great time when it comes to overall buying real estate. Uh, here we are at the end of 2012 rates are at an all-time low there's a lot of different loan programs out there you could do there's down payment assistance you could go ahead and get um you know you could you could if you needed the minimum down payments three point 
5% right now. You could do 20% down. There's just so many different ways to structure it. So again, I hope that this has been a little bit valuable for you. With that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign off. Jason Wheeler with jasonwheeler.biz. And again, you could call me anytime. You could Google my name. Do some research on me if you want to. But definitely get your questions answered. I hope I'm the guy to do it for you. And uh, we'll talk real soon. Thanks a lot, you guys. Make it a great day. Cheers.